Hi, I'm Alyssa Luffy, and this is obviously not one of my usual videos. But this is something that I really want to do because it's on a subject that's very important to me. Some of you may be wondering why I call myself a little loopy. Well, that's because I have an autoimmune disease called systemic lupus erythematosus, or SLE. Lupus for short. And because October is Lupus Awareness Month, I wanted to do a series of short videos to raise awareness. You might already be aware of lupus or even know someone who has it. You may have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about. In which case, I'd like to give you a bit of information about this illness. This first episode will cover the basics of lupus, like what exactly it is, how does it affect the body, and what are the common symptoms of lupus. The second will be my personal story and how I was diagnosed with lupus, how I was treated for it, and what I experience on a daily basis while trying to manage my condition. In the third video, I will be talking about the spoon theory, which is something I won't talk about in detail here, so you'll just have to catch that video in order to find out what it is. The fourth and final video will be on a more broad topic, but it's something that people who have lupus and anyone who's a chronic illness might have to deal with. Depression. But let's get this first video rolling with, what is lupus exactly? There are two types of lupus, discoid lupus erythematosus, DLE, and systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE. DLE mainly goes after the skin and doesn't tend to go after internal organs. SLE can affect the skin and the organs. Lupus belongs to a group of illnesses called autoimmune diseases. Normally, people have what's called an immune system, which protects your body from disease and infection. But if you have an autoimmune disease, then your immune system doesn't just attack nasty bugs. It goes after healthy tissues and organs as well. This causes inflammation and can seriously damage the affected areas. Lupus can affect lots of parts in the body, including the joints, skin, lungs, kidneys, and even your brain. Sometimes lupus doesn't affect the body too badly, only causing mild inflammation, but it can frequently be life-threatening. We don't actually know what causes lupus, or what exactly can cause a flare-up of the condition, but people believe it can be linked to environmental, genetic, and hormonal factors. So, what are the common side effects of lupus? Fatigue is a big one. I'm not talking about, oh, I need a quick lie down because I'm tired. No, this is, I can't stand up for more than four minutes at a time because my legs are shaky and weak. I'm having trouble climbing up to the first floor of my house, or I can't actually get out of bed today because I feel so weak and tired and my brain doesn't seem to be working right. That's something I'll talk about more in my next video when I talk about how I'm personally affected by lupus. More symptoms can include swollen and sore joints, sun sensitivity, rashes and ulcers in your mouth. These are just the mild symptoms too, I haven't even talked about full-on organ failure. Again, next video. Because the symptoms can be so broad and varied, it can be very hard to get a diagnosis of lupus. Sometimes it can take years for a person to finally get a diagnosis. Anyone can develop lupus, but don't worry, it's not contagious. Women are more likely to be affected than men, and women between the ages of 15 and 44 years old are at higher risk. But like I said, anyone can have lupus. Even kids, unfortunately. It can run in families, but if you're related to someone with lupus, there's only a slightly increased chance of you developing it. So, if someone's got lupus, how do the doctors treat it? Unfortunately, there's no cure for lupus. It's a lifelong condition that you can't entirely get rid of. But there are effective treatments out there. Treatment focuses mainly on drugs that suppress the immune system, so it stops going crazy and attacking stuff that you need, like important organs. Steroids are the most common way to do this, but lupus can also be treated with chemotherapy and a drug called hydroxychloroquine. A lot of people with lupus manage their everyday symptoms well and might only occasionally have flares that affect them more seriously. They can live out their lives and work fine, even if they have to take a few precautions. However, some people can be more seriously affected by the side effects of lupus, and it can leave them unable to work. If you are diagnosed with lupus, just remember that it isn't the end of the world. You can still lead a normal life and have plenty of fun, even if you might have to slow down a bit from time to time. Anyway, this has just been a very basic and general look at lupus. I am in no way an expert on this, and I have to go mainly by my own experiences with my lupus and what I've read up on. I highly encourage you to read up on this condition for yourself, because it does affect a lot of people, and the main reason I'm doing this is to spread awareness about lupus. I'll put links in the description to Lupus UK and the Lupus Foundation of America if you want to look at more information or even donate. 
I really appreciate the time you've taken to watch this video. Next time I'll be talking about how I was diagnosed with lupus and how it affects me from day to day. I'm a little loopy and I'll see you in the next video.